Welcome everyone. And thank you for joining me today. So let's take a moment to find a comfortable seated position, remembering that we can use a blanket or a pillow to sit on to allow our hips to open slightly and our knees hang closer to the floor. So finding whatever position makes you feel most relaxed. We'd love to stack our head over our heart, over our hips. We can place our hands on our knees, palms up or down. We could stack the hands in the center here, whatever feels most comfortable. Take a moment to rest the eyes, closing them, relaxing fully. Let your shoulders hang down. Soften the space between your eyes, relaxing through the jaw, the neck and the shoulders. We love to inhale through the nose, lengthening the breath, feel the upper lungs expand, the lower lungs, and then the belly softens and expands fully. Exhaling, the navel draws closer to our spine, and we can exhale through the nose or the mouth. So take this moment to let go of wherever you were before you started class today. Give yourself time to be here now in this present moment. You took the hardest steps. You've rolled out your mat. You logged in or turned on your computer to practice today. Enjoy this moment. Give yourself space to be here now. With each breath, we think smooth, even, and continuous, letting it lengthen and expanding fully. Remembering to draw our focus back to our breath, giving ourselves this time to be present in this moment. As we breathe down to our belly, we're already feeling our hips open slightly as our knees hang closer to the ground. Maybe you let a smile wash over your face to bring to your practice today, or even for a moment, giving yourself gratitude for taking the time to roll out your mat and be present to class. Inhale and lift the arms up overhead. We'll draw the palms together, dropping the hands down in front of the heart. Maybe we draw the chin towards the chest slightly. Taking a breath here. Again, relaxing fully. And then we'll inhale, arms come up. Exhale, step. Toward the arms, let them flow down on the side of your body till the fingertips hit the ground. Let's ground into our right arm, bending into it, reach the left fingers overhead. We can extend fully, reaching, or we can follow our breath and eat off and bend back down. We could twist open towards the sky and eat off if that's what you want to bring to your practice today. We're finding length from the fingers down the side body all the way to your hips. Choosing the method that works for you, taking this class to feel good in your body, to listen to what it craves. We'll inhale and come up and exhale into the other side. So lifting that right arm up, bending into the left arm as it grounds to the earth. Again, we can kind of pulse into this, finding length into our ribs. We could twist open towards the sky, opening up and then easing off. Do what feels good. I wanna encourage that throughout every class. Every time you're on the mat, take a moment to listen to your body. One more breath here. And then we'll inhale, lift both arms up overhead. Exhale, let them float down. 
Let's drop our chin towards our chest, squeeze our shoulder blades together for one, maybe two breaths here, finding length through the spine, dropping that chin, release the neck. And then come back to neutral, relax the shoulder blades, lift through the crown of the head, and we'll insert a small twist here. So taking that right hand across to your left knee, lift and lengthen. If you'd like, taking that left hand to the side, and turning and looking over the left shoulder. We can hold in this position or we can also follow our breath. So exhaling, we'll twist a little bit more. Inhale, we'll ease off. Really focusing on having that proper alignment, head over heart, over hips, lifting and then twisting. One more breath here, and then we'll come back to center. Lift up through the crown of your head. Relax your shoulders down for a breath. Nice big inhale. Exhale, left hand to right knee. Right fingers point to the side direction, turning and perhaps looking behind you. Same option as before. We can hold in this twist. Or we can inhale and relax off, exhale, twisting a little bit further. Choosing the method that works best for you. Two more breaths here. And then release, come back to center. Sit up nice and tall. Maybe we inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, drop them back, finding that nice neutral posture for one more breath. Maybe you rest your eyes, finding that relaxation through the face and the jaw and the shoulders. Two options here. We can just uncurl the legs, stretching them out nice and wide. Or if you'd like, take a moment, leaning to one side, move that blanket behind you too. Lengthen those legs out. Maybe you want to take a moment massaging the legs after sitting for a few minutes, or maybe you want to shake them out. We're going to spread the legs nice and wide. Remember, our theme for the class is do what feels good. So maybe you want to point the toes in this position. Maybe you want to curl them back. We're going to lift and lengthen through the crown of our head and then gently fold forward. So walking those hands out. So whatever position feels good. Remember to find length through your spine so that we can fold forward through our hips and then relax your head down. Maybe the forearms meet the mat, but remember we don't want to round the back to do so. We really want to fold forward from our hips. And again, you can point the toes or curl them back. Whatever allows you to soften through the hips and fold forward gently. We can think that with each inhale, we're breathing down to the belly, drawing that energy all the way down, allowing those hips to open just a little bit more. And release, inhale coming up. We'll take our left foot towards our right side. Having your hips open here, curl back those right toes, nice solid base. We can stay here, just holding. There's two more options. We can lift both arms up and then fold forward directly over the right side. Or if you'd like, you can take your right forearm and find another side body stretch. It's your choice, your practice. Again, choose what feels best for you. Take a moment, find length through your spine or your side body, no matter which variation you choose. Remember that we wanna open our joints while finding that flexibility. One more breath here. Inhale, coming up. And then we'll move into the other side. If you were doing that extension, extend over for just a breath and then come back. 
So this time we'll stretch out our left leg, draw the right foot in, bringing it towards the thigh, sitting up nice and tall. Again, we can just focus on this, curling back to the left toes if this feels good. We can lift both arms up overhead and then fold forward. Or we could take the left arm to the thigh and find that side body extension from the fingers all the way down through the wrist. Choose the variation that works best for you. Find length through your spine and relaxation through the head, neck, and shoulders. Taking two more breaths here. And release, inhale, coming up. If you were doing that side body extension, reach back the other direction. And then back to center. Let's draw both feet together for a moment. So base of your feet comes together, butterfly and the knees open. This is another opportunity to take that blanket back underneath the hip, letting our knees hang open just a little bit more. Remember, Lift through the crown of your head. Find that length through the spine. You can drop the chin towards the chest if you'd like. We could also take the thumbs to the inside balls of the foot, rest of the fingers on the outside, allowing us to peel the feet open and draw the knees towards the earth. That allows the hips to open just a little bit more. We could also fold forward from our hips. So lifting on an inhale length through the crown of your head, exhale, folding forward, and then relax your head down. We can use the elbows to help press our knees closer to the ground. But remember, we always want about 70%. One more breath here. Inhale, coming up. We're gonna draw our knees together. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees first. So if you have any sort of knee injury or just a tingling sensation when your knees are on the ground, I encourage you to take a blanket, place it under your knees. We're gonna take a moment in tabletop first, moving our spine after all of that sitting, Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Feet are pressed into the top of the ground. Remember to lift out of your shoulders. So really press into the palms. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Every inch of the palm is pressing into the mat. We call this tabletop where we have a nice neutral head position, maybe looking ahead a few inches, engaging the core, nice flat back. Moving into cat and cow, we'll relax our spine down, tilt our hips up and look up slightly. Exhaling, chin to chest, navel to spine, hunching and rounding the back. So moving with your own breath. Inhale, looking up, exhale, looking back. We can continue with this cat and cow variation. Or if you feel called to do so, come back to tabletop, tilt your hips from side to side, imagining we're wagging our tail left and right. Again, finding that extension through the side body, or we could circle, draw our hips back towards our heel, out to the side and around. So moving in the way that feels best for you. If we're circling, we'll go the other direction. One more breath here and whatever variation feels good for you. Coming back to tabletop. We're going to come into something completely different than what we normally do. So sitting back on our hips towards our heels, we can stay here. We could take a blanket or block or pillows and place them underneath our hips. 
okay? This movement is going to stretch out our legs. So as we do this, we're gonna have space between our knees. They're not together, space. Let them open and soften slightly, okay? Again, maybe we keep that blanket under there and then we add pillows or a block, but we're gonna lean back, okay? This is where it's gonna get interesting, okay? You're gonna feel this stretch through the front of the thighs. Now, as we do this, I don't want you to collapse. Lift out of the chest. Maybe you draw the chin to the chest. Now you can stay here. I know that this might feel intense. It might feel intense just being right here. We could lean back to our forearm, okay? Maybe you drop the chin back. The other variation here is if we'd like, we could lift up and we could press out, bringing the hands to the hips. You can actually curl back your toes here in this variation, lean back, pressing out this way. I want you to take a few breaths and find the variation that works best for you, okay? So again, if we're back on our forearm, with that block or pillow, we can lean the head back. Eventually, we can lay all the way down and we feel an intense stretch through the front of the thigh. Okay, we want to choose the variation that works best. If we're on the forearms, take one palm, lean to the side, push that palm into the ground, push up all the way. Maybe we're still just holding. Take one more breath and then release. Now we're gonna go the other way, feel a nice black child's pose. So we can have hips, knees, and ankles in alignment or knees out to the edges of your mat, toes come together. Reaching forward with the palm, hips shoot towards the heels and we relax our head on the mat, a block, a pillow, or we can take our fists and stack them over each other. Take a moment. We just did a lot with the legs and the arms. Try to relax fully. Allowing the hips to soften as they shoot towards the heels. We can activate the upper body if you'd like by extending the arms or we can wrap the arms around the side of your body so the palms face up towards the sky and the hands are next to the feet. Remember that today is about choosing the variation that works for you. One more breath here. Try to relax just a little bit more. And then inhale, coming up. Exhale, back to the hands and knees. We're going to insert one downward dog. Now, this is a little bit different than what we normally do, but I want to stretch out the body in a little bit different way. So we're we'll walk the palms out just a little bit. Spread the fingers nice and wide so that every inch is pressing into the ground. We're gonna walk our feet back so that we get a nice plank position. So we can do one at a time so that the shoulders are over the wrist. And then we lift the other one up, nice plank, engage the core, and then lift your hips towards the sky. Okay, here, pedal your feet back and forth, pressing out of the arms. Pedal the feet, let your head hang down so that you're looking back behind you. Feel a lift in your hips. We'd love to have space between our feet so that the hips, knees, and ankles are in alignment. Pressing left and right, just like you're pedaling a bicycle. Lifting those hips up nice and tall. Maybe take one more breath here. And then we'll shift back to that plank and lower our knees down into that tabletop position. Relax your feet and shoot your hips towards your heels one more time. Maybe you choose a different variation of child pose. 
maybe this time you take your knees wide. Or maybe they're closer together, hips, knees, and ankles in alignment. Choosing the variation that works best for you. Again, we can have an active upper body, reaching the arms out, or a more passive child's pose, more relaxation. Arms around the side of the body, palms face up towards the sky, gently resting by your feet. One more nice deep breath here. Inhale, come here. Let's come and lay on our backs. We did our work for the day. Let's move nice and slow. Take that blanket to the side. If you'd like, you can fold it up just a little bit more. Eventually, we're going to do a little bridge. So let's lay down on our mat with our knees up. Lay down nice and slow. Nice straight spine. Maybe you take a moment to lift the hips so that your lower back comes closer to the mat. Trying to relax. Take a moment, let your shoulders hang closer to the mat. The palms can be open towards the sky, or you can have the hands on the belly. We could also have hips, knees, and ankles in alignment, or feet out to the edges of your mat, knees hanging towards the center. Remembering to choose the variation that works for you. Take a moment to check in with your breath. Are you breathing all the way down through your belly? Allowing the lungs to expand fully. Take this moment to feel them pressing into the mat. Moving into the figure fours that we love so much. Lift the left leg up. Maybe you want to find extension through the leg first, drawing that heel to the sky, and then take the left ankle across to the right knee. We can stay here with our right foot planted into the ground of the left knee, opens towards the bottom of the mat. We could also lift the head, neck, and shoulders, bringing both hands behind our right knee. The shin becomes parallel with the ground. Or we can extend that leg up towards the sky. The other option here is if we have any sort of neck injury or if we want to relax just a little bit more, take that belt or strap or small towel, take it behind your right knee. Use that strap to allow your head, neck, and shoulders to remain on the mat while having the ability to pull your right knee up. And again, maybe that heel is towards the sky. But choose the variation where you can feel this stretch around the outside of the left side, or maybe you feel it in the hip crease in the front. Remembering to breathe deeply, that breath allows our body to open and relax. One more breath, relaxing just a little bit more. And then bending that right leg if it's up towards the sky, releasing the belt if you're using it right, so it hits the ground. Left leg extends up and out, and then heel to the ground. Maybe you find extension through the toes all the way through your fingers by lifting the arms overhead. And then relax the upper body, lift that left knee up, find nice alignment before we lift our right leg up. Again, we can bring that heel to the sky if you'd like, and then right ankle to the left knee. Remember that we're drawing our right knee towards the bottom of our mat. And again, we can stay here with our left foot firmly planted on the ground. We could lift the head, neck, and shoulders, drawing the hands behind the left knee, keeping the shin parallel to the ground, Foot is nice and relaxed or curl back the toes, 
bringing the heel towards the sky. So you have left hip, knee, and ankle all the way up towards the sky. And again, we can also take that opportunity to relax the head, neck, and shoulders by grabbing your belt, bring it behind your knee, keep the head, neck, and shoulders on the ground, lift that left knee up. Same options as before, keeping that shin parallel to the ground or heel to sky. Playing around with the variations so you achieve the best result for your body. Taking a few more breaths here, really trying to relax into it. Imagine that as you Fill the belly with each breath. You're also breathing all the way down to your hips, allowing them to soften a little bit more. One more nice big breath here. Bending that left leg if it's up, releasing that belt if you're using it. Draw the left foot down, extend the right leg up, reach it out nice and long. If you'd like, left leg comes to meet it, fingers extend overhead. And then knees up, relax the upper body. Hips, knees, and ankles in alignment. We'll take the arms down the side of your body. This is an opportunity to take your blanket nicely folded to bring it under your hips or if you have a block or pillows bring it close to your side we're going to do a nice relaxed bridge so if you want to do an active bridge and you don't want to use something underneath your hips feel free if you don't want to include a bridge just stay here on the ground and enjoy a moment of relaxation so choosing your variation, bringing our hips towards our heels, or heels towards our hips, I should say, arms down the side body, pressing into the palms and shoulders. Chin is lifted towards the sky, and then we lift those hips up off the ground. So if you'd like, tucking that block, blanket, bolster, or pillow underneath your hips, then letting them hang down. So choosing the variation that works best for you. We can stay here in a bridge with this relaxed opening of our spine, or if you'd like, you can extend the legs out nice and straight. This will open up the front of your legs in a different way. You could also say reach one leg and then the other. We could play around with pressing into the palms and shoulders and lifting one leg up. And then the other drawing the knee towards the sky. Taking a moment, connect with your body. Remembering to be here now in this moment. Enjoying whatever movement feels good for your body. One or two more breaths here. Then we inhale, lift our hips up, take those props and move them to the side. Lower down nice and slow. Draw the knees into the chest. Maybe you want to rock side to side or do a small circling, massaging the lower back. Take a moment. Relax the upper body. Hug those knees in nice and tight for a breath or two, really squeeze them in. And then let the feet hit the floor one more time. We're gonna come into happy baby pose. This is a great opportunity to again use a belt or strap. We draw our knees towards our chest, 
using that belt, we would keep our arms on the outside. Take the belt to your feet, lift your feet up towards the sky. Let them come nice and wide. Keeping our upper body relaxed, we use our arms to pull on that belt so our knees come towards our chest. We're trying to keep our hips relatively close to our mat. Remembering to lift our chin up towards the sky. Or we can take the full variation where our arms come inside our knee and our hands come to the outside of our feet. Again, pulling on our feet to bring our knees towards our chest, allowing our hips to open and soften in a different way. You can also rock here from side to side if that feels good. If you have the flexibility and you feel called to straighten your legs in this pose, feel free. Couple more breaths here, softening fully. And then release the feet. Draw those knees back into the chest. And then let the feet hit the ground. Realigning your position. I'm going to play around with some movement. Taking the arms out like a T. Palms are on the ground. Hips, knees, and ankles are in alignment. Let your knees hang over to one side so you roll onto the outside edge of one foot and the inside edge of the other. Come back to center, moving nice and slow and then across to the other side. So feeling the spine start to open in these twists. Gently moving at your own pace from one side to the other before we move into a postural hold. The feeling, that movement in the hips and the lower back. This is a different variation than a full twist as we draw our knees towards our chest. We're softening through our lower back, feeling our hips move as we draw our knees towards the earth. Depending on which side you're on, remember that that one knee is coming towards the ankle. So checking in at center that hips, knees, and ankles are in alignment and then moving across to one side. Couple of more breaths here, just playing with the movement. And then we'll come back to center. And we're gonna choose a twist variation that works for your body. So maybe, you want to straighten one leg out and say the left leg, right knee to the chest, and then let that right knee hang across the side. That's one variation. With that variation, we could use a block underneath our knee. That might feel really good. We can also lift both knees towards the chest and let them hang over. You could cross one leg over the other. Or if we're new to twist, take a moment, lift your hips to the right side, knees come to the chest and then across to the left side. Trying to stack our hips ever so slightly. Melting our shoulders into the mat, our arms are gonna feel heavy into the earth. We can keep our head in a neutral position or turn and look the opposite side. If both knees are together in the twist, we could use that block between our knees, providing space for our hips. Remember to breathe. Your breath might feel different in a twist than it does laying on the mat. Take a moment to rest. Breathing all the way down into the belly. And 
move slowly in the side to center. Choosing the variation that works best for you. Realigning our posture first and then moving into that twist. So one straight leg, one knee up, twisting over, lifting the hips, knees to chest and over, or crossing one leg over the other. Moving nice and slow, feeling that opening of the spine. Again, head in a neutral position, turning and looking over to the other side. Remember to be here now. So we're letting go of those thoughts as they come in. We're just passing by and focusing back in on the breath. And we'll slowly move back to center. Realigning our position. Maybe you want to draw those knees into your chest. One final time. And we can hug them in tight. We could again massage the lower back. Might feel different after those twists. Stretch out the legs, entering into our final resting pose. Letting the space between our feet, putting them dangle to the side. We'll have space for our arms, to our side body. Palms open to the thigh. Chin slightly lifted. Closing the eyes. Taking a moment, I encourage you to acknowledge that this pose is just as important as every other posture we did in class today. We need to take a moment to allow our practice to absorb into our bodies. If we feel any tension, we can take a blanket, place it under our head, or we can place it under the backs of our knees, allowing our lower back to soften just a little bit more. Finding a comfortable position to allow our breath to return to its natural rhythm. We check in with the space between our eyes. When we relax it just a little bit more. When we soften through our jaw and let our shoulders hang closer to the mat, letting our limbs feel nice and heavy. We know we're going to have thoughts, but we just let them pass by. And then we return the focus to the breath, feeling that rise and fall of the ribs. Maybe we feel that air as it moves in through our nose, it's nice and cool. 
As we exhale, it's just a little bit warmer. I really encourage you to enjoy this moment. Resting fully. This is your moment to connect with your mind, your body, and your breath. We can stay in Shavasana for another minute or two, or begin wiggling those fingers and toes, rolling our wrists and ankles. We always reach our arms overhead like it's first thing in the morning, finding that length through our body, slowly awakening. We lift one knee and then the other, allowing ourselves to turn over to one side before gently making our way into a seated position. Closing the eyes, we keep that focus turned inward for a few breaths. We can stay here finding that lift through the crown of our head and then drop our chin towards our chest. Enjoying this relaxed feeling to bring throughout our day. If you have a lot to do, we can use a little bit of movement by inhaling and extending the chest, exhaling, rounding, doing some circling through our hips, bringing energy through our spine. We sit in center for a moment and then we go the other way. Exhaling back, coming to center. Roll the shoulders back, lift through the crown of your head. Bringing a smile to carry throughout your day. We'll inhale, arms come up. Exhaling, hands down in front of the heart. Taking a moment of gratitude for yourself and the time you took for your practice today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Namaste, Cheryl. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone.